Guys, welcome back to Excel VBA tutorial series. Um, now, in our today's chapter, I will demonstrate how can the workbook open event be used. So, um, let's jump down to the Developers tab and Visual Basic. Now, before we start off with this example, um, a workbook open event is um, automatically run once you open a workbook so to to set up a workbook open event you may want to click on this workbook and um, you may want to come down to this workbook now now as you can see right here you have an option called general so you just need to click on this drop down you have an option called general and workbook so you may want to select workbook this will automatically give you um, the default procedure for workbook open event. Now, in this procedure, um, let's use an example where we will use an input box bases the user's identification. It will take that user on his personal sheet. So let's say dim um, user as string user equal to input box um, please enter your name for verification and then after this let's say um, worksheets user dot select what this would do is this would um, this would select the the worksheet which um, the user has inputted his name for verification so if this worksheet does not exist what has been entered by the user we are likely to face an error so just to prevent that error let's write an error handling code so let's say on error go to error handler we can exit the sub over here and let's write down the error handler code over here um, now let's say um, message box um, your details do not match we be critical active workbook dot close save changes false now let me just quickly talk you guys through this code what this code is expected to do is as soon as we open the workbook it will prompt me with an input box where it will ask me to enter my name for verification now the input that I make in that input box will be my name which would help me jump down to this sheet right here so um, if I enter some name that is not a part of this um, not, is not a part of this workbook then what would happen is we will face an error because the program won't be able to find that sheet perhaps this function right here worksheets user dot select will fail so to prevent this error we've written an error handling code which would jump us directly over here it will give us a message box that will say your details do not match and then it will close the workbook so um, pretty much straightforward let's try and run this example so let's close this workbook and um, let's reopen this workbook right from here now on opening this workbook as expected first we will have to um, enable macros as we can see it's prompted us with an input box that states please enter your name for verification so currently we are on the sheet tutorial for demonstration perspective let's enter my own name Jayesh what this would do is this would jump jump us to our personal sheet which is Jayesh right here once I click on OK so as you can see this has directed me directly towards my personal sheet now similarly let's run this once again and let's enter some data that is not valid and it could result in an error so let me enter something like ASDF as we can see there is no sheet called as ASDF so the function that we've assigned to this procedure would definitely face an error but on back of our script we've asked it to close the workbook and say that the user does not exist so let's try clicking on OK once again as you can see right here your details do not match and the workbook has closed down so um, guys this is just one of the examples how the workbook open event can be used so thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos take care bye, -bye.